hello in this video i will explain you about limits of function what is the meaning of limits of function first of all i will explain it suppose any function fx is uh, x square you want to find out the limiting value of uh, fx here is the example suppose uh, i want to find the limit of fx when x tendings to 2 how much so meaning of this is first of all you um, plot the graph of fx if you plot the graph of fx x and y and this is the graph so i want to calculate this is the fx is equal to x square and I want to find out the value of limit x tends to 2 fx. Meaning of this, <coughs> meaning of uh, uh, limit of x tending to 2 fx is at near to x is equal to 2. What is the values of y near to this? When x approaches to this line, what is the value at here and what is the value of here? So, in, from the graph, you will see that uh, this is almost equal to the values of x is equal to 2. And what is the value of fx at x is equal to 2? fx f2 is equal to 2 square is equal to 4. This means limit x tending to fx is equal to 4. In this graph, it is clear that at the near point of um, f2, the value is around 4. It is slightly less than 4. It is slightly more than 4. So when x is just near to 2, the value of fx will be 4. 4 is all. Uh, this point is also near to 4. This point is also near to 4. But this situation is not happening in all the cases. Suppose here is another example. fx is equal to x square if x is not equal to 1 and x plus 2 if x is equal to 1 so this is the condition of fx fx is a function whose behavior is this if you try to plot the graph of this what you will find here is x it is y if x is not is equal to 1 suppose this is a 1 so for except 1 the fx is this but at not at this place okay so just just put an empty place here and what is the value of fx plus 2 means at near 1 it is equal to 1 plus 2 is 3 so y is equal to 3 at x is equal to 1 it is 1 and so in this graph you see that uh, this is the value of fx is equal to x square except then 1 its value is at x is equal to 1 fx is equal to x plus 2 means x is 1 plus 2 3 so this is 3 this is 3 this is the point so graph is this here is the first and then point and then this graph so this is the graphical value of this function so i want to calculate the fx limit of x tending to 1 fx how much the meaning is that x tends to x goes to 1 but not x is not equal to 1 it is always always is the nearest just nearest to the 1 means it is just near to the 1 so for any value near to 1 the value of fx fx means this curve this will come in this graph so it is near to this value and this value so this value and this value is almost equal to 1 x square 1 so so limiting value of x tending to 1 f x is equal to 1 but f1 is from this 
function f1 is if x is equal to 1 exact value of when x is exactly 1 then it, it will be x plus 2 means 1 plus 2 means 3 so 3 so limiting value is 1 and f1 is 3 so this this value and this values are almost equal if you then if you goes to 1 from this side from left side or from right side you suppose in this example fx is equal to x square minus 4 divided by x so minus 2 and uh, you are required to find out the limiting values of fx when x tending to 2 fx is how much so from a function x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 you can uh, write it as uh, x minus 2 into x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 so when you put uh, x is equal to 2 here in this uh, formula you will get a uh, x square means 2 to the power of square means 4 minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2 that means 0 by 0 so f2 is equal to 0 by 0 so def um, this is a uh, this 0 by 0 infinite by infinite or minus infinite by infinite is a is a indeterminate form means uh, it can be anything so this is not a uh, the exact value so you can uh, you cannot uh, find out the values of f2 you can only find out the values of fx when limiting of limiting values of fx you can find out easily so what is the values of fx when x tends to 2 so here you see the main cause of 0 by 0 is this x minus 2 and x minus 2 so if uh, for any values of uh, x which is not equal to 2 because uh, we are required to find out the limiting values of fx when x tends to 2 it means x uh, tends to 2 but it never reaches to 2 that means x is x is not is equal to 2 so you can um, cut it so what uh, remains here is x plus 2 so fx is equal to x plus 2 so limiting values also f uh, when x tends to 2 fx will be equal to this uh, will be equal to near to 2 so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 if you try to plot the graph of the above function you will see that uh, for any values of uh, fx for any value of fx not equal to 2 the fx is x plus 2 so 2 this is suppose uh, this is a 2 so um, this is the values this is the fx and uh, this is a form x plus 2 this is the line of, of x plus 2 for x is equal to 2 this is uh, x and this is the fx <coughs> for any values of uh, x other than 2 the fx is x plus 2 and at x is equal to 2 fx is not a determine not the definite value so it is not a definite at this point but the limiting value is what is the limit of x tending to 2 fx so at near to 2 at near to 2 the fx is this point and this point if you move from left side it is this if you move from right side it is this and all this is, is equal to 4 4 so limit of is equal to 4 suppose uh, this is another example of fx so uh, this is a uh, fx is discontinuous function at x is equal to 2 if uh, x is uh, just below the 
2 just below the 3 the limiting value of fx is 4 and if x is just above 3 the limiting value of fx is 6 so you can put it in this format limit of x tends to 3 plus fx is equal to 3 plus means you are moving x nearest to 3 from positive side from this side so this is the this 6 and limit of x tends to 3 minus fx is equal to you are moving the x to at point 3 from left side so if you move the x from this the limiting value of fx is 4 so if you move uh, limiting values of uh, x when it moves from a different side the value of fx may be different suppose you are required to find out the limiting values of this function mod of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 when x tends to 2 so if you try to plot the graph of uh, this function when x is greater than 2 this is the function this is the 2x and uh, this is the fx fx is equal when x is uh, greater than 2 so it will always be same x minus 2 mod of uh, is all x minus 2 is always positive for x is greater than 2 so mod of uh, x minus 2 will always be equal to x minus 2 so x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is equal to 1 so fx will be 1 for greater than 2 at x is equal to 2 it is a 0 by 0 so it is a you know indeterminate indeterminate value so i am not putting any value at 2 it is always a this um, line is for all the values of x which is greater than 2 if x is uh, less than 2 x minus 2 is negative so to make the uh, mod of is to make it positive it will be equal to 2 minus x if x is less than 2 x minus 2 will be equal to 2 minus x that means 2 minus x divided by x minus 2 and uh, so the ratio will be equal to minus 1 for x is less than 2 suppose uh, fx here is this is a minus 1 minus 1 so this is this is the curve so at this point and this this is a curve so limiting values of x 2 x is equal to you are required to find out the limiting values of fx at near 2 so you see for uh, for x greater than 2 limiting value is 1 and x less than 2 limiting value is minus 1 so you can write it as x tends to 2 plus is equal to 2 plus is equal to 1 and limit x tends to 2 minus fx is equals to minus 1 so this is the answer suppose fx is equal to 1 by x how can you find out the limiting values of uh, x tends to 0 fx is equal to how much if you try to plot uh, the fx is equal to 1 by x you will see that 1 by x uh, it is this and uh, for negative value of x it will be this so at x is equal to 0 means so uh, this is the x and this is the y so at x is equal to 0 at plus side it is infinite and at uh, minus side it is minus infinite so you are not getting the sa same values either at plus side or either at minus side that means limiting value of fx is indeterminate indeterminate not determinable not determinable in this case
Suppose you are required to find out the limiting values of uh, this function when x tends to 2, x square plus 4x minus 12 divided by x square minus 4. If you just put the values of 2 where in this, uh, it will equal to 4 plus 8 minus 12, that is 0. And x square minus 4, 4 uh, minus 4 is equal to 0. So it, it will come as 0 by 0 at x is equal to 2, which is in uh, indefinite value. So to find out the exact limiting values, uh, you make it sim simplify this of formula. That means equal to it is um, it is equal to it is equal to limit x tends to two, and if you you try to factorize it, uh, it will be if you try to factorize it will becomes x minus two and x plus six divided by x minus 2 into x plus 2 so to limiting values of x minus 2 x is not is equal to 2 so you can uh, cancel uh, no this 2 so it will be equal to limit x tends to 2 x plus 6 divided by x x plus 6 divided by x plus 2 so you just put the 2 in this, uh, it will be equal to 6 plus 2, 8 divided by 2 plus 2, 4, 8 by 4 and that is equal to 2. So, the limiting value of A is this, equal to 2. Now, so, there is uh, another easy way to find out the limiting values of uh, x, uh, fx, when it is, it is in the form of uh, 0 by 0. So remember the, the rule is that when the ratio is in the form of 0 by 0, infinite by infinite minus infinite by infinite, in that case you just differentiate top um, above uh, th this ratio, this uh, upper portion and lower portion by, uh, you just differentiate it with, with respect to x and put the values of x, you will get the limiting values. So differentiation of this with respect to x is equal to 2x plus 4 divided by and differentiation of x square minus 4 with respect to x is 2x. Now put the values of x in this, but you will get 2 into 2 means 4 plus 4 divided by 2 into 2 means 4, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2 which is uh, same as 2. So, means uh, suppose uh, I want to calculate limit x uh, tends to a certain number a. There is, the, um, there is function fx and this is the function gx and uh, this is if at x is equal to a this is equal to 0, this uh, comes uh, in the form of uh, 0 by 0, infinite by infinite or minus infinite by infinite. So this limiting value is equal to f dash x divided by g dash x. So it is quite easy to solve in this, this uh, formula. And uh, another formula you have to remember is that uh, limit of x tends to 0 sin theta divided by theta is equal to 1. How you can say? Suppose uh, sin theta is a uh, limiting value is 0 and theta is also equal to 0. So, sorry, theta tends to 0. Here theta. Theta tends to 0. Sin theta by theta is equal to 1. So, uh, you just differentiate it. Use the, the same form because, because this is an in the 0 by 0 format, differentiate it. Sin theta differentiation of this with respect to theta is cos theta divided by theta 1. And now put the theta is equal to 0. Limit theta is equal to theta tends to 0. So cos theta is equal to 1 by 1 is equal to 1. So re 